Hi there, this is Daniel with Food Storage Guys. And on this video, I just want to quickly show you guys how to take a five gallon bucket lid on and off easily and how they are great for using as a large canister. So this is a five gallon bucket and this is one that my family uses uh, quite often for storing dried apples. And you'll notice on the lid here, it's kind of a snap-on lid. It has a gasket inside to keep moisture and pests out. Um, when you first get your buckets from Food Storage Guys, uh, you'll notice that it has a little bit of another uh, plastic strip around it and a little tab on there. And that's to kind of a tamper-proof tab. So once that is snapped on there with that uh, ring on there, that lets you know that nobody else has been able to get into that bucket since that was sealed up. Uh, so you can go ahead and if you want to take a look at what's, what's in the bucket, uh, most of the items are going to be in a mylar bag that's sealed up. So even if you open the bucket, you're not going to be exposing the food to air. Uh, so that's something you can do. If you want to go ahead and make use of the product, uh, you can go ahead and open up the lid and open up the mylar bag and use the food out of it. So after you remove the plastic strip, this is normally where the pull tab is. You just pull it all, pull it all the way around. And then uh, just as a note, when you first start taking on and off this lid, it'll be very stiff, but over uh, oh, five or 10 times, it'll start to loosen up and go on and off a little easier. You can also use a little rubber mallet to put it back on with if it's not going, not snapping on well. Uh, each one of these little sections here is, it has a little clip on the underside that's hanging on to the lip of the bucket. And so you, those need to be removed or lifted up in order to release, release, release it. Um, this is definitely not a one-handed operation. So one of the things that I like to do is to put my feet on either side of the bucket to hold it firmly so it doesn't come up or wiggle or get bumped over. So to remove the lid, you want to start with one section at a time and work your way around. So I'm going to put my, my feet on either side here to hold the bucket firmly. Place my thumbs here in the middle and use the rest of, the rest of my fingers all at once uh, for each one little section. So I want to pull it up. You'll hear a little snap usually. And you want to rotate the bucket to the next one and do the same process. And then you want to kind of, kind of go back and lift up just a little bit. Start working the lid up. So now it's starting to come off here. As you work your way around, you should have a little bit more flex in the lid. Until it gets the last one and then the lid will come off like that. So you'll see the rubber gasket, this black around, the, around here is the rubber gasket. That keeps the moisture and air and anything else out of there. And then, oh, look, there's some delicious dried apples. Maybe I'll have one. Mmm, yum, very good. So that's how you take a lid off of a bucket. And I'll show you how to put it back on. Maybe I'll finish my apple here. Very good. Okay, let's get the lid back on now. All right, take your lid, place it on. That's all it does. Push on a little bit, it won't snap on. So what you need to do is take your both wrists and you can, there's a little lip underneath here that you can use to um, put a little bit more pressure. You can squeeze and just kind of do a shove I'm going to do a quick motion, quick hard motion. And just kind of go right, do the same thing. Just like that. Make sure all the tabs are, are down in their normal position. And notice it's all clipped underneath. You're good to go. 
And these stack very nicely. This little rim here, the bottom, bottom of the bucket, the next one will fit nicely in this rim so that you can stack them maybe four or five high. If you have a tall enough ceiling, I think you can get about four high and an eight foot ceiling. Uh, so they stack very nicely vertically. If you need, uh, have difficulty getting the lid on, you can go ahead and just use a rubber mallet to tap around there a few more times and get all the tabs in. Just squeeze them a little bit. You just remember use your little lip here and just kind of squeeze it a little bit around there. And they come on and off fairly easily once you get used to it. They work great for canisters, for holding all kinds of dry goods, goods as well as uh, what you get from us. All right, well be sure to check us out at foodstorageguys.com and get your bucket of emergency food. Check out our apples, they're quite good. And there's all kinds of grains and things like that, potatoes that are great for food storage uh, to prepare for the future. And get your emergency food today before it's too late.